Welcome to another episode of Simply Sayer. Today on the show, we're going to do a copycat recipe from Olive Garden. The chicken gnocchi soup. But I'm going to do my version of it. So I'm going to do it full, exactly like the copycat. Let me get you. There you go. And what I've got in this kettle is a tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil top carrots and celery. Now don't worry about the recipe. I'll put it in the description box under the video. I need to chop some onion and um, garlic up. So I got that in my little chopper. Okay. Let me put my onion in. Okay. Let me get that all in there. Now, the only thing I'm doing different to the soup that Olive Garden doesn't, does, Olive Garden doesn't do is I'm adding mushrooms. So we're not following that to the tea until I add mushrooms in it. Okay. Okay. Got my onion in there. Okay. Now we're going to saute that for a couple minutes. My big kettle here. I'll turn it back up. So I turned it down a little bit because it's getting a little bit too hot. Okay. We're just sauteing that for two to three minutes. Alrighty. And what I did before I did this is I put two chicken breasts in there, put four cups of water over it, brought it up to a bowl, want it to start bubbling good. Brought it down to a low bowl, put it, covered it, and cooked my chicken and poached it. And then when I knew the chicken was done, I put it on a plate. Um, now, one of the breasts I'm going to save for another recipe, so we're just using one chicken breast. I let it cool a little bit and then chopped it up. I saved my broth. A little bit of my broth, what was left, because a lot of it's going to evaporate out, okay? And then I poured it out of here, the, the broth that was left, so, so I could saute. Um, and then I put my olive oil in here, put my onion, garlic, carrot, and celery. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop in some mushrooms. Now the mushrooms are on sale, they were 99 cents for a container. So I thought that was a good deal, so I grabbed them up. Because I like to put other veggies, mushrooms, or stuff to soups because it adds a filler to it. And also make it go further. So I just sliced in there. Them were whole button mushrooms. What button mushrooms I just sliced up. We're going to put our chicken breast. And it was kind of giant one. So that's why I used just one. Now you don't have to use chicken breast. You could use chicken thigh. Whatever you want. Now what we're going to do is. We're going to put over the chicken broth. And I put a little bit, because it wasn't enough, I wanted, I needed about a quart, which is, um, four cups. And so, it only brought, like, that much, because where it reduced so much. So, I had more water, and then put bouillon in here. So, let me get my, let me put my bouillon out of the bottom. So, you might need a little bit more than four cups. It just depends. You need liquid to float your, uh, cook your stuff in. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to do actually two quarts because we've got to put our potato and gnocchi in here. So, I'm doing two quarts. I want it more soupy than what Olive Garden does. So, you just do it however you want to. So, I'm just adding water and then I'm going to put a little bit of chicken bouillon. More chicken.
And you can go over two, two quarts, which I did a little bit. So let me get my chicken bullion out of here. And I'm going to turn this up, so let's start heating up, too. I like to use this bouillon if I can get it on hand better than bouillon. Because I like the chicken -y flavor taste, yes. But you can use regular cube bouillons. You just follow whatever back of the little drawer says to the ratio of water. Okay, got that in there. And we got it coming up. Okay. So what we're going to do is cook your carrots, celery, and onions till tender. And then when they're tender, I'm going to come back and we're going to put in the potato gnocchi that I got at the Dollar Tree. Other grocery stores carry it too. It's just like little potato dumplings. And they usually cook about two or three minutes. They'll tell you on the pack of pack. So it don't take very long for them. And then we're going to wilt in some spinach leaves when I come back. And then we're going to put in a little cream and some some seasoning so let me to put some seasoning now i want some salt now i know how much this bouillon is because i work with it a lot salt and pepper to taste and then we're going to put a teaspoon of thyme in here teaspoon of thyme Alright. And that's the seasoning that's in here. Okay. I'll come back with video two after the soup comes to a bowl. And I'll turn it down to a low bowl and let my hard vegetables like carrots, onions, and celery cook until tender. So I'll be back with video two on that. <laughs> 